In this video, we're diving into how to use Bitdefender VPN and antivirus together to protect both your devices and your digital life online. And why combining them is actually a smarter move than using either one on its own. What's going on, everyone? My name's Eric Hunsaker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you stay safe online without getting buried in technical jargon or wasting money on stuff you don't need. So whether you're working from coffee shops, shopping online, or just trying not to fall for a sketchy email again, this is your guide to locking things down the right way. Well, let's get into it. Why you need both. Antivirus plus VPN equals full coverage. All right, so here's the deal. Most people think antivirus is enough. And to be fair, it covers a lot. Viruses, malware, ransomware, all that scary stuff that tries to infect your device. But it doesn't protect your connection. That's where the VPN comes in. It scrambles your internet traffic, hides your IP address, and keeps snooping noops off your back, whether it's hackers on public Wi-Fi or your own internet provider watching what you do. So when you use Bitdefender Antivirus and Bitdefender VPN together, you're covering both ends, the device itself with antivirus and the data traveling in and out with the VPN. It's like locking your front door and closing the blinds. Step one, installing Bitdefender Antivirus and VPN. All right, let's start with getting both tools set up. If you've already got a Bitdefender plan like Total Security, Premium Security, Security or Antivirus Plus, chances are you've already got access to the VPN, even if you haven't used it yet. So to install Bitdefender Antivirus, you can go ahead and click the link down in the description below. Then you can come to this link right here, and you're gonna want at least the premium security here. The total security comes with VPN, but you only get 200 megabytes per day per device, which really isn't all that much. So you might as well go for the premium security here, which gets you unlimited VPN traffic. So there, just click on My Devices, then download and install the protection on your computer or phone. Follow the prompts, and it's honestly super simple to get going. I'm going to go ahead and get signed up here with a free trial to show you how to do all this. So I'll just click on this Start Trial button here, and I'll go ahead and create an account. And we'll click Create Account. Now from here, I'll go ahead and click on Install Protection on your device. And what I want to make sure I download is the Total Security as well as the Premium VPN. So I'll go ahead and just click Install, and we'll click download and we'll go ahead and click out on the X there. I'll click on that again and I'll click on the premium VPN and click download. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my downloads folder and I'll have these two here. So I'll go ahead and just double click these and just follow the on-screen instructions here to go ahead and get this stuff downloaded. Go ahead and click install. All right, it looks like the first one was installed. We'll go ahead and move that to trash. That was the VPN. Now let's go ahead and download the other one and we'll go ahead and click continue, agree, install, and same thing there. Okay, so now we have the VPN app here and the antivirus app is still installing over here. All right, now once that's done, you'll have the main Bitdefender app. From there, you can open up the VPN tab under privacy or you can install the standalone VPN app like we just did. Now on Android or iOS, you can grab both the Bitdefender mobile security app and the Bitdefender VPN directly from the app store. Just make sure you're logged into the same account. Now, heads up, if you don't see the VPN installed automatically, don't panic. You can always install it manually through the Bitdefender Central. All right, so with this Bitdefender VPN installed, let's go ahead and click on Continue Trial, and there we go. Now, if we want to connect, we can go ahead and just click this button right now. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Okay, so with that Bitdefender app now installed, I need to go ahead and allow some system settings to work with it. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and we'll go ahead and we'll allow this. This Bitdefender app to do its thing. And we'll go ahead and turn that on. There we go. Awesome. And we'll come down to ex extensions, endpoint security extensions, and we'll go ahead and turn on Bitdefender agent and put in our password and click done. Open system settings. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll use our thing there, quit and reopen. And there we go. Just like that, we've got it installed now. Step two, using Bitdefender antivirus properly. All right, so now that you've got the antivirus installed, let's talk about using it the right way. So Bitdefender gives you solid real-time protection right out of the box, but there are a few settings that are worth 
double checking to make sure you're really covered. First, run a full system scan. When you first install Bitdefender, it'll probably suggest a scan. Do it. Start with a full system scan to check for anything hiding in your files. After that, you can run quick scans every week or two or schedule them if you want to set it and forget it. Tweak your protection settings. Under the protection tab, you can go into the antivirus section and hit settings. There are a few toggles that you want to make sure are on. Scan for potentially unwanted applications, scan scripts, scan network shares, scan boot sectors, scan key loggers, and early boot scan. You can also change the default threat action to take proper action so Bitdefender handles things automatically. Enable advanced features. So you want to turn on advanced threat defense. This helps block weird, suspicious behavior before it becomes a problem. Web protection. This filters malicious websites. Firewall. This monitors your network traffic and blocks any sketchy connections, but that's for Windows only. The ransomware remediation. This automatically backs up key files if a ransomware attack is detected. Bonus tip, email protection. If you use a local email client like Outlook or Thunderbird, make sure Bitdefender is scanning both incoming and outgoing mail for threats. Step three, launching and using Bitdefender VPN. Okay, so now your device is protected. It's time to lock down your internet connection. We'll go ahead and open up the Bitdefender VPN through either the main Bitdefender app under the privacy tab, or you can go to the standalone VPN app if you downloaded it. Here's what to do. Connect to a server. Just hit connect for the fastest server near you, or you can choose a specific location if you want to spoof your IP to a different country. Now with the free version, you're limited to 200 megabytes per day, which is fine for quick browsing or checking your email. But if you want to stream, torrent, or stay connected all day, you'll definitely want to upgrade to the premium VPN. Tweak your VPN settings. So you want to go into settings and check for the kill switch. This automatically cuts your internet if the VPN drops, so you're not accidentally exposed. So turn this on. So we'll click here under settings, and we want we want to look for this kill switch. So probably under privacy, we want internet kill switch. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Next is auto connect. So you can set the VPN to kick in automatically when you start your device or when you're connected to public Wi-Fi. To do that, we come back here to a general, and we can go ahead and open this on startup, or actually we'll come here to auto connect, and then we can choose a couple of different options here. So there's device startup, so this will connect VPN at system startup, or unsecured Wi-Fi, so this will connect VPN whenever using public or unsecured Wi-Fi networks, which is awesome. That's a good one to go ahead and turn on, as well as some other options here. App traffic optimizer, premium only. So this lets you prioritize which apps get VPN traffic. So for example, you can route your browser through the VPN, but leave YouTube or Zoom untouched if you're trying to save bandwidth. On Android and iOS, you can even set up a double hop, which routes your traffic through two VPN servers for extra privacy. So here I can go ahead and do that. I got the specific applications. So this is where I can connect VPN when choosing certain apps, which is pretty cool. Step four, using both tools together, the smart way. All right, now let's pull this all together. You've got antivirus scanning your system for viruses and blocking shady apps. You've got your VPN encrypting your internet connection and hiding your IP. But how do they work side by side? Good news, they do it automatically. Bitdefender antivirus and the VPN are built to play nice together. They're both tied to your Bitdefender account and they won't conflict. In fact, they complement each other. Here's how I like to use them. At home, I leave the antivirus running full time. I turn on the VPN when I'm paying bills, maybe shopping online or looking up stuff I'd rather keep private. On public Wi-Fi, I turn on both immediately. Starbucks Wi-Fi isn't exactly safe. While working, the VPN is on and antivirus is doing its thing in the background. Now, here's a pro tip for mobile users. On iOS, you can't run the VPN and web protection at the same time. So you'll need to pick the VPN for full connection privacy or the web protection for browser level threat filtering. You can toggle between them depending on what you're doing. Step five, real world scenarios. What this setup protects you from. All right, let's walk through a few real life examples so you see the full picture. Scenario one, coffee shop Wi-Fi. You're on your laptop at a cafe using their free Wi-Fi. Bitdefender VPN is on, encrypting your traffic so the guy two tables over can't sniff it. Meanwhile, antivirus is running in the background in case someone tries to slip you a sketchy download or a phishing link. Now here's another scenario. Shopping online. You're on a retail site that you've never used before. Bitdefender's safe pay browser kicks in to isolate your transaction. The VPN hides your IP. Antivirus makes sure there's no hidden malware on the site or in your download receipt. That's full protection. Scenario three, opening up a weird email. You get a shady looking attachment in your inbox. Antivirus scans it before you even open it. If it's malicious, it gets blocked. If it tries to connect to a remote server, the firewall steps in. If you happen to be on the VPN at that same time, your IP is 
also protected from being tracked. Step six, extra tips for a smooth experience. Here's how to get the most out of both of these tools. Let Bitdefender auto update. Make sure both antivirus and the VPN are set to auto update. New threats pop up daily and updates keep you ahead. Use one click optimizer. This tool in total security cleans up junk files and speeds up your system. Now this is not security related, but it's a nice bonus. Don't run two antivirus programs. So Bitdefender doesn't play well with others. Running multiple antivirus tools can cause conflicts or slow down. Stick with one. Set up scan schedules. Quick scans weekly, full scans monthly. You can automate both in the Bitdefender dashboard. So should you use them together? The answer is absolutely. Bitdefender antivirus handles everything on your device, from blocking malware and ransomware to scanning downloads and filtering shady websites. The VPN keeps your internet connection private, especially on public Wi-Fi or when you're browsing sensitive stuff. Used together, they give you way more coverage than just one of them alone. And since they're already built into the same ecosystem, it's super easy. No weird software conflicts, no extra logins, no extra costs if you've got the right Bitdefender plan. So yeah, this isn't about being paranoid. It's about being smart. The internet isn't getting any safer, but your setup can be. Now, if you wanna get started with Bitdefender or any other products that we recommend, you'll find links for them down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means we earn a commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel. They allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on the channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online and detailed product comparisons. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here in the next video.